Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Black Name coming at you guys with a dual video. I'll be playing some Kaiju Yosenju. This has been a while since I made a video, but uh, I've just been busy. Uh, also, recently I've got Pokemon uh, Dying uh, Paul. My brother got Paul, so we've been having Pokemans uh, for the last three days, so it's been crazy. Um, if anyone would like me to do some sort of Pokemon theme for Diamond and Pearl, uh, like, commentary or whatever, I don't really have a way to screenshot my ta uh, DS, but I'm sure I can give you guys some, some sort of video that may be entertaining to watch. Uh, looks like we're up against the light storm, so opening this mistake was a mistake! Ooh. Uh, yeah, I made that one mistake. Just kind of an interesting tech card I have right now. I decided the second one for uh, Magic Spectres. I expect Magic Spectres to be rather huge uh, when it finally develops into a deck. Hmm. Do I want to do that? Okay, I know what I want to do. Well, I might as well just set everything and then pass turn. It's like, even right now, I'm actually kind of looking down my screen because I'm training my Pokemon right now, so... You know. Spots on Tom Tower would be that. Let's see, we're up against the Light Zone, so I know that that is, in fact, a Raikou set. Uh, if it's not a Raikou set, I'd be very surprised. So I do actually have full attentions on attributing it to summon the... Ooh, it is actually a Shadow Dragon. However, I do not believe he has any targets. No, actually it does. Okay. That's fine. No big deal. Uh, Dragon does have 1900 attack points, so... You know, I will be taking a bit of damage this turn. I'll be taking the 1900 out. I also sniped out my summon morning, so I won't be able to negate any further summoning, but it doesn't look like there will be any. Ooh, Stone Nephos. Now that's actually a really good card to get. How do I want to handle that? Okay, so I don't actually have any kaiju counters, so... I'm going to actually just end my turn again. Because I don't actually have to do anything. Uh, as of right now, I can just play a waiting game and wait him out. I mean, yeah, he does have dragon, and dragon is 1900, but I have plenty of life points. So I don't actually have to worry about that. Let's see. Ooh. No, I actually got two kaijus, so... Let's go ahead and start doing some stuff. Yes, we will start doing some stuff. Whoops. Same videos, thanks. Uh, let's see... do this. Heat. Give that one to him. Now let's press some of this one to my side of the field. they say in the new Godzilla movies, let them fight. <sighs> so you would take 800 from that and I will have a big ass beat stick on my side of the head. To help me with better work, pound down his side. Also very unique, he did not use the dragon effect. Shame on him. Shame on him. He's facing down full back wall like this, you think you would use that. I am going to use lose one to away. I can't use lose one turn anyway. Ah, <laughs> uh, it doesn't matter. He has that anyway. Okay. But decree though. I mean, this lose a turn I actually can't activate, but he's going to let it go, so I'm going to let it go and not worry about it. Uh, yeah, take it. You got that now. Oh, <laughs> The YCS price card. I don't even know what this card does. Okay, apparently it sends three cards from the top of your deck. And then you draw the equal to the number of light swans sent to the graveyard. Oh crap. I thought you were good. Okay, um. 
see here uh, when the scar is sent to the graveyard by a card effect you can destroy or destroy by a its owner's possession destroy blah 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 opponent's card effect you can send it up oh okay so it just sent me as like crazy well that's not that big of a deal I still got Godzilla here so who cares Unless you drop JD, but you can't. You can't drop JD. So I'm actually okay with this one. Now, also, the Roy Decree doesn't hurt me as bad because now I know uh, if he doesn't have a means to stop me in his hand, like honest, I can actually just go completely ham and start dropping things like crazy. Which is actually pretty significant in what I will probably do if given the opportunity. Oh, Pokemon just add that up. Seize Banishing Dragons, Summoning Dragons. We're going to make that uh, XZ monster again, do some more milling. It's not really all that big of a deal. Uh, I'm not really worried about it. I mean, milling cards is fine by me. Uh, 101, not so much, but I can't really do anything about it, so he's going to go ahead and take my dinosaur. So, that's life. He's taking that. Now I'm going to take 2100 to the face. Maybe some more if he has enough special summon of a monster. I don't think he has enough for JD. He doesn't. Good. And he has three names in the grave. Three names in the grave, that's not so bad as having four, because then he'd go to drop JD and now we'd be in trouble. Uh, ooh, that's actually really good. Like I said, guys, uh, this actually isn't terrible because now I just have the ability to go completely ham and use common one and bounce that. And I do believe common one can bounce any card, if I recall. On the third. You can start one place at card your point. Yeah. Yeah, I'll also bounce for a decree to his hand. So I can use my trap cards. Uh, and this will actually be, this actually really helps me because I can fight him back with my back row for at least one turn. I can just kind of fight him with my back row one turn at a time. He will be able to flip over the decree, but I pretty much have him on a soft lock unless he flips over the decree during his turn. Okay, so I'm going now to 1800 life points. I'm trying to decide what I want to do here. Do I really want to, do I want to go into a extra card or not? Ah, uh, shoot. Do I? Do I really? Have you gone to Tonsta Diamond and Diamond will prevent him from sending cards from his deck to the graveyard, but if he has something like a Geki, he would be able to out me. So I'm actually just going to let this go. And bounce everything back in my hand. And just let him go. See how he can fail against that loser turn that's currently live and would actually be able to be activated now. Since I actually have no monsters on the field. Of course, it is worth noting that he probably wouldn't have activated the Royal Decree if I couldn't activate the uh, lose one turn. So that is actually something worth note. However, we'll just use it when I would have flipped it to, uh, in response to the 101. I would really have used it when I used uh, Stone Mail Force or Mistake or whatever. Whatever would have had him, uh, that he would have just activated it then. Looks like he's going to go ahead and quit, which is actually fine by me. That was a very short duel, guys. But yeah, Kaiju Yo Senju's very strong deck, even if you do misplay sometimes. Uh, you can see how easily the deck can put out damage, and I really think it's worth something trying out. Uh, it will be a deck I'll probably play, be playing going to the next format. We'll catch you guys later. Bye.